And this is the horseback riding I have here. I'm being quiet because I don't want to, there's other people riding and I don't want to spook them. But that's my youngin. You've seen her in the videos before. And they've got several horses and they have the long ride, short ride, long ride 65, short ride 35. What I'm gonna do is we're actually going to, we're in the museum here. We've got some cool stuff I wanna show. So here's some of the, kind of goes slow and you can always pause it here. This tells about some of the early legends. We actually bought a book, it was written by Terry Scales, same one that wrote the natural tunnel book. Look here, look at the size of some of them. I mean, fully grooved eggs. I've actually found a couple of those in some of the old, we call them backer patches, but you know, the farmers grow tobacco. And then of course, the legend himself, Daniel Boone, I'll see here if I can get up and let you read what it, let you read that. Then pouch, short pouch and powder horn, lead shot former, so to make the bullets in. And Lieutenant James Garfield. How cool is that? Get a picture of him in there. I mean, look at that. It's a really nice picture. That looks like Crockett or Boone crossing the gaps, what it looks like. Could be wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. I'm sure somebody will. But check that out. Rough looking bunch of fillers here. Look at that. That's Mountain Feud, the Hatfields, Logan County and the McCoys of Pike County fought on the opposite sides during the Civil War in the 1870s. They began a 30 year clan feud that began a legendary horror story. Mm. If you haven't checked it out, Kevin Cosner plays Devil Ann's Hatfield in that short series. Look at this spear, but it's on Netflix. What is this, a steel? Look here at this steel, they got the worm in it. Okay. Check that out. Hi. Look here at these old logging saws. Two man saw. And one man cross cut saw. I'm not sure what that is. I haven't seen that before. I feel, feel bad for not knowing what that is. Building the railroad. Hand woven wall hanging from yarn, estimated to be 150 years old. Look at that. We got some coal. Different types of, of the uh, channel coal, I think, ain't it? Tell me if any of you coal miners watching that is. I didn't say that right. Channel coal? Or can kennel coal? Kennel? Common banded. And we got some more of the, they've got an actual trail that's the geological trail. Look at this. Look at that. How cool is that? And here's some of the wildlife that they've got. It says the forest community. I can't get close because they've got the they've got the chain there, but I can, I can get over there. It looks like some foxes and bobcat. I'd hate to get in that guy right there. Big hornet's nest. Gray squirrel, coyote, several foxes. Look at the turkey. And they said that they turned these guys loose in here recently. These guys, look at them horns. Check out this big beaver right here. Let's see if I can get down here and show you. I wanted to show you here on the American black bear. And then 
some more of the the stuff but they got that what i was telling you about the geological trail they've got all the rock formations and stuff like that that's on the on the geological trail and there's blasting caps <laughs> look at that hercules blasting paper shooting through the solid there's a check piece for coal company i don't see no let's see right here right here's some script used to have that over in uh mcclure nora over in the mining towns and you can see those little notches in them there i don't know if you can see them right there i'll leave that up for you guys to research what those little notches mean i don't want don't want to give that away i give you a little bit of homework to do there and i'll ask you again later look at some of these little little oh mine lamp there i'd say some of you might have even coon hunted with that kind because look at the helmet and then the the old the hat had that on the front of it i mean it's just so cool to come and see this because this is where we come from guys this is this is it look there there's the mind map the actual mind map try to get a little closer where you can see it here how cool is that i mean it's just mind-blowing look here loading coal on, on the cars and then i don't know if we'll be able to see it it's because of the glare from the window but look right here this is the rescue kit I haven't seen one of these at a museum in a while. Animator. Oh, and the glass is still intact. This is so cool. There's the fireballs. <laughs> Wouldn't have wanted that job. No way. Oh, look at this roof boulder up here. Come a long way from back then. Those pipe wranches, pickaxe. But them roof boulders were insane. But. I'll show you right here. They've got this TV right here. And what they do, they have they have uh, this DVD, and this is it's narrated by Micro, and I mean it's just one of the coolest things ever. It's like 19 bucks to get it. I, I'm going by the book by Terry Scales. <clears throat> I'm getting my stepdad one railroad too, so you're going to get one too railroad if you're watching whenever you watch this. So here's one that PBS done. The national, the national parks, America's best ideas. But this one, this one tells about all about how it, the park was formed and how it came into being, the park and everything like that. They built a little scale. Let's see. Let's get on this side of it right here. Look here. I know this part right here might be long me doing this right here, but I just want to want to take it all in and get you all let you see what we're seeing the best that I can. You hear it called say but it's it's ginseng and man it's worth just as much as gold i'll go slow so you guys can pause and read the different different uh exporting ginseng to china the government can't regulate it so there's no taxes on it that's why it's worth so much it's like a hundred and some dollars an ounce look at that can't really see see if i can hold my hand up there so you see a little bit better see me looking like a but anyway there's some pictures of it. I don't know if you can really see in that picture the top. See how one of them is yellow and the other's green? In September, it starts to turn yellow. And you can spot it from everywhere. Right here's a good green one, but there's no berry pot. Well, you can see a little bit of it there. And then very uncommon, eight prong ginseng. Yeah, it's very uncommon. That's crazy is what that is. These bass, they came out of the uh, the lake or beaver pond one. So we're gonna actually go show you here in just a little bit. Okay, and this is outside of the visitor center. They got, I've always just called it a layoff plow, and then you had your actual bi bigger plow. How many of you know what that puppy is? You know what those are sticking out of them. Look at this. I actually have never seen one of these other than just in pictures and photographs. There's grist meal. Grind up the flour, it don't look like you can go in though. This is part of the early settlement. And they do have little enactments here and stuff like that. But I wanted to bring you over here and show you. Now, of course, it's speculation if Boone actually stayed here or not, because they're not really sure. But 
check that out. I want to show you how tiny it actually is. But if you're coming through the gap, then this would have been paradise. So come around here, stone chimney. So I just squirrel, look at this butterfly guys. Look at this, look at that guy. Beautiful, beautiful. But that's it. That's the little cabin. And this is where we're going right up here at this little, the moonshine seal here. These hollers used to be full of these things. Probably, probably not stone, but but I like how they've got this, this label. So right here's your furnace. You'd load your wood in right here. And this one is really well done because it doesn't part. But here's your furnace. And this is what you call your cap. It comes over. Here's where your mash is. Your thumb kick. That's what this one's called. And this is your worm. And this would be filled up with water too. And they've actually still got the hole. They've got the hole in the bucket here. So, how cool is that? And then there is your slop arm. They've got it stopped up. <laughs> but right here, making a run of moonshine. And you can see me there in the, in the reflection. Just making sure we can see it real good. Everybody can, I'll just go down real slow. So, how cool is that? And then we've got this giant, this is the salt kettle. The go hunk of steel. This cast iron kettle unearthed in 1961 at Saltville, Virginia was one of the one of those used for the evaporating water for the urine in the manufacture of salt. It was probably cast at Murray in Virginia in about 1860 and buried to conceal it from the federal troops who captured Saltville in 1864. Presented to Brakes Interstate Park by Allen. I think I said that right. 1961. Look at the size of this thing, guys. Look at this. It's got some water in it because it's got nowhere to go. But look how, look how thick that guy is. And it's got up on this steel plate here. It's crazy. They buried it and then it survived that long. Looks like they've had to do maybe a little bit of patchwork on it at some point so we did find where you go to the paddle boats you just come right here and it says paddle boats and we walk down this overlook my two yeah who's going down through there but look and they have several different things they've got the mountain box on this side and then the motorized mountain box that you can ride and that is the lake so how cool is that there's the paddle boats. How cool is all that? Awesome, huh? Let's see, look, they're coming in. Look there. So regular mountain bikes. And then motorized mountain bikes. And then they got kayaks somewhere over there on that side. So. And that's the paddle boat right there. Probably should have gave her my phone so she could take it. I don't know if, can you see the bottom there? Not too deep. It's a little deep as you go. They got like 35 minutes for 10 bucks. This is not too bad. Not too bad at all. There they go, into the sunset. So here it is. Look at this. Walk way up and check that out. Look rocking chairs and check that out oh we got our own water not every campsite has that oh yeah okay 
Okay. I'm gonna start. Check it out. So I'm just gonna do a pan here. Look at this. Little bunk beds. And you can open the windows. Look at that feature. How cool is that? Oh my gosh. This is the coolest thing ever. The coolest thing ever. Oh man. So I'm getting ready to go fire up the grill, do some steaks, start carrying some stuff in. Might make her do that. <laughs> fire pit. This is what I'm working with on the grill here, huh? Well, and we're over here by ourselves too. This is the only yurt they have. Here's the back side of it. I'm gonna let that up so we can look out of it too. So, and I did, I forgot to bring firewood. So I got some firewood. Somebody left a marshmallow. That's uh, bad camping 101 there, I think, ain't it? So let's go enjoy our stay here. And I don't know if you can see it right through there. That's how close we are to the bathhouse because these do not have a bathroom. And this is one of the little playgrounds here that's like right over from the yurt. And the bathhouse is right up there. And they've got the old school metal slide there. Don't wear shorts, kids. The not so cool thing is that the pool is actually closed. But try to zoom in on it here just a little bit. As you can see, it's actually kind of growing up now. It's been down for a year, they said, since COVID. So, and they didn't open it back up this year. So hopefully next year it'll be back up. So if you're looking for a pool, that one is closed. It's got the water slides and they actually call it the water park because there's like a little river thing that you can get in and float around to, if I'm not mistaken. And you know, diving boards and all that stuff as well. So <sighs> COVID man, COVID. And this is called the shelter number three. It's where you can like have family get togethers and things like that. The main reason we're here because Daisy wanted to come zoom back out to this one. Hi, How cool. Look at the colors of that one. The purples and like the, the greens and stuff. So we wanted to come to, they call this the tower where we're getting ready to go. We're getting ready to hike it. I don't think it's too long. Uh, but right here's a little bit of information about it. It's the formation of the brakes. So check out that elevation. 1730 feet this is what they're calling the tower tower russell's fork and sandy river 1881 breaks of sandy 1899 that is so cool but there's some information on it i'll hold back here hopefully you can see it try to keep the camera still we've just been at a playground so i'm Wore out, I've been chasing Daisy around and that five-year-old energy, man, I just ain't got it no more. But let's go check it out. And here's what the trail looks like. There's another sign over there. And then of course, back up that way. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, million dollar view. That's why they call it the Grand Canyon of the South. If you haven't ever been here, oh man, look at that. Big step, oh my God, I about stepped on a dove. 
the dove was literally sitting right there where that thing is right there it was literally right there see is this the same one elevation here is 1680 feet tower tower elevation 1665 oh my gosh just look at that You have to see this at least once in your lifetime. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but I can hear it from right here, the, the river all the way up here. Here's one of the, the the shed areas. They've got a shed right here, and then one right here. We'll try to get over here in just a second. But what I want to take you and show you, we've got, looks like there's just a kind of a little overlook here, and we're gonna actually go down there here in just a second. Check it out, the stage area. I'm gonna walk down there and show you everything because the lake is over in here behind it. And if you're if they're playing music and stuff and you're out on the water, you can just chill in your kayak and listen to some music. But if you're asking me how I rate this place, this is probably one of the better places I've come to because I mean they do have the hotels, they have the cottages, um, they've got the cabins, the yurt, and then they have all their uh, campsites have electric hookups for campers and most of the ones I've seen so far are easy in back and in and uh, easy to get to so the stage there but down there's the water so that's how close you actually are to the water and you can take the trail here and walk right down to the water there which isn't all that far and i mean most of the trails that i've seen too and i've been on a couple that i haven't videoed but i mean most of the trails are are this wide there is a tree down on that one i don't know i always thought it was just so cool when you come to one of these outdoor stages like this how close you are to the woods and at least this one this one has water behind it so that's a plus and then that building up here, this one right here has, uh, they have the soft drinks and a few snacks and stuff like that. And then up there is where the visitor center and the original settlement was. Lake Trail. I still wanna check out that geological trail. I actually want to look at this shed because it's built just a little different than the rest of the, the sheds that I've seen. And I've, I've been to a couple of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this is what it's actually in. It says, this shelter may be reserved 11 months in advance by calling the number Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So there's one of the fireplaces. And... Right there's one of the fireplaces, and this is, like it says on all the others, there's your grill and your fire pit there. And they've got the horseshoes down there where you can play. I'll get this on here because I always like to pay my respects and everything. Just try to be as polite as I can because huge contributor Richard was to the park, so. I mean, that is just is so awesome how cool is that okay fire trough looks like somebody needed to clean up here a little bit better don't do this guys whenever you come to a park they're good enough this actually looks like like a hog pen or what they would roast a hog on or, or a whole side of beef you put your fire in there and the ones i've seen has got a water pan on top of it that you they call it scalding the pig is literally where that term comes from but there's your chimney it's just a big pipe it goes up in the air and your smoke would go up in that because it draw just like a, a chimney flue and it would come out and go up right there so how cool is that they've got these little bench areas right here i don't know if this is an actual campsite or not could be because some of the other parks in virginia have just these little gravel lots here with the tables and you set your 
tent up there and then you have your grill but i mean right there's the parking lot where we parked and then the campground over here or the campground playground over here so this is the overlook we actually drove out of the park to come to this one because we went to the other one yesterday the one the tower is what they call it but there's the kentucky map a little bench here and then and then got this map this is the commonwealth of virginia map here this one's black and white virginia can you not do no better than that lord have mercy we're right here breaks interstate heart and then this is the mill rock point overlook overlook is 65 yard walk and it's got the good walkway that goes down through there welcome to dixon county Virginia, home of Ralph Stanley, John W. Flanagan Reservoir breaks Interstate Park, the Grand Canyon of the South. And then here's the Crooked Road Heritage. There's the Carter family and Dr. Ralph Stanley. Right there. So let's walk down, down through here and go check it out. Mill Point Rock, this is where they would send the logs down that they, down to the reservoir down. And then you can see people kayaking right there underneath the bridge. How cool is that? We'll go down here to the overlook and show the overlook just a little bit. But this one is actually before you get into the park. Oh, this, this one's just awesome. And of course, the deck's under surveillance. You actually have to climb up that one to get up there. It looks like this one goes down the mountain this way. How oh, cool. See if, don't know if you'll be able to see the actual zip lines or not. Maybe, maybe you can. You can see some of them right there coming down. They've got the steel cables tied off over here. And they come up to there. How cool is that? You've got the deck coming off over there. Cable's going that way. Down here. This trail's just a little bit more difficult, but nothing major. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is nice. So you can see actually more of the river from this this point right here the other one don't know if you can see it or not over there you can see where the uh zip line goes to and that is actually the rock the one just above the zip line right there where we was at yesterday on that part of the lookout so but look at that guys some deep holes in the river and some really steal parts of it if there was somebody down there fishing I'd, I'd never be able to see it but that's the tower right there that's what they're calling the tower it's really grown up right now there's a flat plateau right here on it so but look at that my goodness stay tuned we got more to come she's moving she's right there couple deer mama and her baby okay it's still got its spots on it how cool is that i don't know if you can see it as good guys but that's so cool i mean we're right here like right here's the water spout right here right there's the deer so hey guys this is the clinchfield overlook here at the brates interstate park i'll slow down right here and i kind of hold back you can see the train trussle there and the train coming through the mountain there. And then here is this little, and I'll back up one more time so you can read it if you want to pause it. And then we'll just go right down through here to the overlook. And as you can see, it starts off with the wooden trail and goes down this way.
this overlook. I'm so glad we was, my mom and stepdad came up to visit with us and I, we was like, well, what's up through here? So we just kind of wanted to see what was up this way and we found there's another overlook and I'll get it on there too. I'm sorry, I'm shaking so much, but these steps, man. I know you can't probably see through the trees, but we're going right down here to the overlook. Oh my goodness. Yeah, my mom will not come down here. I don't know if I want to go down here. Look at this, guys. Look how they've got it done. We're just walk, going to walk out on this big giant rock. And we're going to be on the side of the tower, I think back this way from it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, let's get right here. Look at that. That is beautiful, beautiful. Now, I'm sorry if you hear thunder because it is literally, I mean, you can look and see it's raining right there and nothing over this way. And then back in that way, it's doing its own thing too. And then right over top of us right here, let's get the picture of this. Let's get this, get down here. This is our, that's our elevation here right now. This is the highest point we've been to so far. So, I think, I mean, it's just awesome. And then right here is part of a trail. You can go out that way. It's just so cool. I mean, this is what you're looking at here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Those rock formations. Somebody carved in this, in this 1994. Let's go right here. Look at this down in there i can't actually see the river down there but look at that look at that oh that's awesome let's go to the next one guys what do you think wave by at the view sorry i'm breathing hard i just came down that trail if i'd have known i'd have brought us right out this one because look we're right here at this rock and they've got this one built Look how cool this is. This is this one. Let's jump down here. Let's try not to shake the camera as much. Look how, look at this. Look at the rock. Oh man, I'd love to go on top of that. It'd probably kick me out of here though if I done that. Look at that. Look at that. Look, see if I can hold it over here. Look at this. And you can actually go over on that one right over there. But I mean, this is what I'm looking back at. You've got this area and all this, all these rocks are set on top of this and they built this here and then straight down and that. I know I said we was going to the next one, but this wasn't the next one I was talking about. Sorry, we will get to the next one. Oh, that's so awesome. state line overlook the Virginia Kentucky I believe and as it shows right here aerial view of the ridge we're actually going to be right there and we'll be able to see those two giant peaks 
hopefully if I can get the camera position right. Let me get this right here so you guys can pause it and read this if you want to. So let's go right out the trail. It's just literally right over here. Oh, look, I see a ranger tower right over there. I don't know if you can see it real best or whatever. So this one, we're going to step up here on this lookout. They've got a fence that walks all around it. Yes, and you can see the highway down there. See if I can filter from the sun there just a little bit. Show you what I'm seeing. Come up, there's the two giant peaks. And of course, we've got... This is our area right here. Look at the little map. I like this one. Russell's Fork River, Pool Point, Potter's Flats. That is nice. And then you can look right back over that way. I think you can see Hayside down there. How cool is that? If you guys know what that is, what, what town that is down there, let me know if that's Hayside or not, because it kind of looks like it. Because the park entrance is just right back there. Look at that. Look at that. That's pretty cool, let's go. So the state line is in orange on the map. How cool is that? We're at 1,760 feet here. And they say you can see into three states from right here. So, totally worth coming. Let's go right over here. We can go out a little bit further right here. See, it comes down like this. And they've built this wall. And you can see down there in the ravine. See up through there. And we was right back on the other side of this ridge coming down right there and there's all kinds of just like little overlooks that you can just hop up on the side of this ridge right here and look down over in up there but they didn't have no guardrails so we to save the youngin from hopping out of the car and god forbid anything happening we we didn't stop so there it is that is just beautiful and then the rain fire tower in the background there ranger tower whatever you want to call it wow it's just amazing but that's that goes back up that way but this this little area will be cool bring, bring like some snacks and some drinks and just have a picnic here It'd be kind of cool and that is our breaks adventure guys hope you've enjoyed it the last overlook and with that with this view please drop a subscribe a comment smash that like button for me just breathtaking thanks for watching guys